He's ahead of our life. Put your hands together for the Holy Spirit. We welcome you. Put your hands together for yourself. Hallelujah. It's a great privilege to see you in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You can be seated if you can. If not, your spirit us. We soon have seat all over this place. Amen. Amen. We have to start somewhere to reach somewhere. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. We want to talk about tonight the spirit of faith or the gift of faith because to serve God we really have to have faith. And to be a sinner man you don't know if you have faith or if you have a little faith or if you have no faith. But we are here tonight to help you through our teachings that we all have faith. We were born with faith. But it begins to increase and grow when we begin to read the Word of God. Because he said faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. So when we begin to read, then faith, the ingredients for faith is the Word. So the more we read the Word, the more faith going to grow. Amen? Amen? So we see where faith is, it is to believe and to trust in God. Amen? Amen. Also confident confidence in what we hope for to happen even though you cannot see it so we're saying that hebrews 11 chapter 1 said faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so we're not seeing the thing but we're believing it that we're going to receive it amen so faith is belief faith is trust amen you don't you're not seeing the things physically but you believe that you sitting on that chair not going to fall down with you. So it's faith sitting on the chair. It's faith while you walk here. You believe that walking here is going to be okay. You drive the vehicle by faith. That you're going to reach your destination and nothing going to happen to you. So you may say that, oh, I am not a Christian. I don't have faith. But you do have faith. You're going to the vehicle and when you drive and reach your destination, it is faith. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. Because you may not have the faith as I do because we have different types of faith. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And if we're going to serve God, we have to faith, serve Him with faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please Almighty God. So you may ask yourself, I don't, you may think that I don't have faith and I don't know how to pray and I don't think that things can turn around for me. Yes, it can turn around for you. If you have faith as a mustard seed, then you're going to move the mountains. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So the Holy Spirit is saying tonight that if we trust Him, if we believe Him, if we have confidence in Him, then you're going to see things happen for you. It's like you're inside of a relationship and you trust the person. And when you trust the person, you believe that this person won't betray you. This person won't be unfaithful, but sometimes it does happen. Praise the name of the Lord. With Jesus, there is no unfaithfulness in Him. Amen. And whatever he said he will do, he will do it. So we want to talk about the big word, faith. Because we all have faith, but it begins to grow when we begin to read, when we got saved. And we begin to stay in the presence of the Lord. You believe that when you got pregnant, you're going to go through the nine months and you're going to have the baby. No true? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You believe that you got the job and you're going to stay in the job and it's going to turn around for you. But the big, big things that we expect to happen we are weak and we don't believe it can happen for us not true praise the name of the lord hallelujah so in order for it to increase and to grow big and strong praise god we have to feed it with the word so the more we read the more we our belief gets stronger the more you have experience and testimonies with Jesus Christ, you believe, come on, I believe when I drive all the way, when I drove all the way from St. Catherine to St. Elizabeth, I ain't going to get in no accident. I ain't going to get a ticket. I'm going to reach my destination safe. So my faith allow me to get here safe and believe that I ain't going to get a ticket from no police officer. And I ain't going to get into no collide with no other vehicle. Praise the name of the Lord. So when you walk out of your house, you believe I'm going to walk up the street. Nothing going to happen to me by faith. I don't see what's going to happen, but it won't happen. Which is negative. You follow me, church? Yes, we're going to teach it here. I know persons, the Bible said because of lack of knowledge, people got, the people of God perish. 
So we perish when we don't have knowledge. Knowledge is knowing. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is key. It is excellence of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. So we want to see here. We see here. Though Even though we cannot see the things. I believe I'm going to receive it. Mm. So faith is belief. And you have to pray and say God. I am lacking faith. As, as, as James said. And he said, if you lack and you ask, and it shall be given. Praise the name of the Lord. I've been around cinnamon and unsaved, per I mean unsaved persons. And when some of them speak, you wonder if they are saved. But they have faith. But just need to get hooked up or link up with the right person to encourage your faith to grow even stronger. Wow, Hallelujah to Jesus. And the right persons to pray for you and to encourage you because some persons will kill your faith, kill your belief. Not no gossip, that can't happen. Not true. Amen. But you believe that this can happen. But some persons, they call you down and they push you down. And that is why I believe we have to serve God with our own experiences and experience Him for our own self. That when persons come around, we don't, they don't try to bewitch. In the word bewitch, which is a spirit is something that when persons try to um let you believe that this is what happening when it's not really happening yes come on. amen yes, hallelujah to jesus so you may ask a question this is a question why faith is important in god why why should i have faith in god why should i serve him with faith what faith gonna do for me hallelujah come on amen so we see here, Hebrews again, chapter 11, verse 6, it says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if we're going to serve Jesus, we have to serve him by faith. Because he, he, you can serve him by what you see. Because what we see will lead us into a wrong pathway. But when we serve him and believe, come on, we don't look up to the natural things. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So he said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if you don't have faith, you can't please God. Mm. You have to believe in him. You have to trust him that when you sleep in the night, nothing going to happen to you. You have to trust him that he's going to provide for you. You have to trust him that even the doctor said, you, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. I hear Isaiah said, whose report do you believe? So come on, I want us all to hook up or link up with some people with our faith. Because you're going to allow my faith to grow. Because what I believe in, I'm going to share it with you. And what you believe, you're going to share it. So we're going to grow strong. We don't want to grow with persons who are going to tear down our faith. Amen? Tear down our faith with negative words. And don't believe that, oh, you believe in so many things not going to happen. In superstition, all these things. We don't believe in these things. Amen? Amen. So faith, without faith, it is impossible. That is one of the things why it is important. Faith, without faith, it is impossible. If you're going to believe in God, you have to believe Him and believe that He's going to work out every situation. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. I have so many testimony with faith. I don't know where something, we don't even know sometimes how we reach here, but we reach here by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith is your money. Faith is your peace. Faith is your hope. Faith is the foundation ingredients of every believer. Hallelujah. Because you have to have faith to receive salvation. Because that is where salvation starts. It's by faith. You know, you wasn't there when Jesus died on the cross, but you believe. Yeah. You wasn't there when you were crucifying him, but do you, you hear the story in the truth? Yeah. It's not just a story, but you believe. Yeah. And when you watch that, 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 that thing on the television sometimes, it moves your heart because, you know, the faith that is in us allows us to begin to attach to Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah to Jesus. You hear me, church? Yeah. Glory be to God. So it is important. When you, one of the importance that faith does, faith moves God to act. So when you have faith, God acts for you. Amen? When you have faith, He acts for you. So if you have a sick, 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 sick situation, as James said, if you have sick among yourself, you call for the elders. 
of the church. You anoint them with oil and you're going to pray. So when you begin to pray, it is an act of God. You begin to move God to move in the... It is a prayer that is faith going to allow God to move. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. So when Mary sent call for Jesus, it moved God because it was a faith move. She could have said, go call one up your man. Go call one person, somebody else, but she sent call Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to Jesus. So when you move, when you move by faith, uh, uh, it is a, uh, you, you move God to, it's an act of God. You move it. When you, when you believe, you move God to work for you. I believe I have an exam today and I believe God is going to take me to the exam. You move him. So your belief allow God to work. Belief is the ingredient for God to work. So if you're fearful and if you're doubtful, then you're going to get a doubtful answer. But if you believe, then God going to move on your behalf. Hallelujah. If you feel like I pay demons in your house, you have believed, say them are going to come out. Then come on, you're going to go to your bed and vision see all the angels of the Lord surround that property. You're covered under the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen, church? So when you have faith, it is the act of God. You move him to, to work on your behalf. You move him. The scripture said that this woman, she had a, 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 a child was so sick unto death. Amen. And when she went to Jesus Christ, she was not part of the, 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 the disciples of Jesus Christ. She was a sacrificial woman. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And the Bible said that Jesus said, I can't give my, I can't give the, the children's bread to the dogs. But because of her situation, her faith allowed Jesus to turn to her and heal the child. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So no matter where you're coming from, no matter what the situation is, as long as you believe, God will work for you. As long as you believe that he is able, then he will work on your behalf. God is saying to somebody tonight, believe in him. Believe in me. Amen? Faith threatens us during trials. So when you're going through your trials, your challenges, your confrontations, the Bible said in Ephesians chapter 6, 16, he said, it gives us the shield of faith. So the shield of faith will defend you. It will protect you. So when you're going through your turmoils and your confrontations and everything coming at you, then the shield of faith is going to strengthen you. That is why I said, brethren, serving God is a consequence because you have to deny the things of the world. Deny the things of the world. The devil let you feel as if your life is over. Which is your life just begun. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Because when I just got saved, I had to wear the one dress by faith and more dress come in. Because I was a party girl, I wear a lot of pants and you know, you know party girls sing. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And by faith coming to church, God provide for me. God open doors for me. He can do the same for you. But he said you have to believe that he's a reward unto them that diligently seek him. So the more you come here seeking him, asking him for your help and believe, then come on, God going to work on some situation for you. Amen? Amen. There's nothing that too hard that God cannot do. You hey, believe, church? Amen. Amen. This ministry is a reason together we ask questions. When we teach you like this, we ask you if you understand anything. We teach. Praise the name of the Lord. So let this night, Tuesday night, be the night where you come in. And you will take your information. You will ask us questions. We reason. And we share the word of God. Amen. But on a Friday we pray prayer of deliverance. Hallelujah. Faith fuels what we do. Faith without works is dead. So the spirit in the body gives life. So faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. Without the spirit in the body you don't have no life. Hallelujah. 
So if you're going to serve God, you have to have some work somewhere. You, you have to meet him off the way. Hallelujah. So if you need that job, you have to send in some application form. And you watch that thing going to work out for you. You can say, oh, I need a job, I need a job, I need a job. Your work is to send in some application form. That is your work. And you believe that they're going to call you. Glory be to God. Amen, church. So faith without works is dead. So God said, what you do, you feel will faith to uh, work on your behalf. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we want to believe God for some big things in our life. Once upon a time, we travel with doubt. We have low self-esteem. We don't believe that some things can happen for us. But God is saying tonight, if you have faith, then you can you can receive so much than you ever imagine. Amen? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We're moving into types of faith. There are three types of faith. Salvation faith, mustard seed faith, and the gift of faith. But look now. Salvation faith, this faith is when you firstly accept Jesus Christ. John 3 verse 60, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes. Is it the word believe? In him which is faith. Should not perish but have everlasting life. So the moment you accept Jesus Christ. You walk to him with salvation faith. You see in church? Amen. So if you accept him tonight as Lord and Savior. It is faith. But it is the first step of faith which is salvation. Hallelujah to Jesus. All of us step out to God through salvation faith. If you step out to God tonight, it is salvation faith. So when you step out, it's because you believe. So you accept him as Jesus Christ, our Father, our Savior. Praise the name of the Lord. He was born from a woman, Mary. He was died, buried, and resurrected. And sit on the, on the right hand side of his Father, making intercession for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Ephesians 2 verse 8 it said, By grace and faith we are saved. So through faith and grace we are saved. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we have to understand that serving God is really a faith move. I, I, I'm in a situation, I'm going to step out of it and step into God by faith. And I don't know what's going to happen next, but I trust him to take care of the situation. Hallelujah. So we need some faith walker tonight. We need some, some faith stepper. Hallelujah. Some, some, some big faith, even though it feels small, but it is big. Because this one says, mustard seed faith. Mustard seed, you have to put on that, that microscope thing on your face and to see the seed because they're so small. And the scripture said here, this is when you have little faith in God. So if you have faith, Matthew and Luke said it. If you have faith as a mustard seed, as small as a mustard seed is, you're going to speak to that mountain and that mountain is going to be removed. Hallelujah to Jesus. What a powerful God we serve. Amen, church. So what God is doing tonight is building some faith walkers, some believers that have you know lose your faith and your trust has broken down and you don't believe that God has shown on time for you but come on God is saying it's time to believe by faith because faith has taken you thus far and the enemy has right in crushed your faith for you to die spiritually but God is saying tonight believe as a mustard seed just believe I'm into a situation and I trust God that he's going to turn around for me hallelujah and every day I'm going to use my little mustard seed faith. And I'm going to pray, God, I need a better job. I believe I'm going to get it. Sometimes you have to go into the mirror, you know, man. And begin to declare the things over your life by faith. I am a royal priesthood. I am a holy nation. I'm going to serve God one day. And I'm going to serve him very soon if you're a backslider. I'm going to return. If you're, you're not yet saved, I know I am going to serve God. And this is a season to serve God. And anything that wrap me up in time, you're going to lose me to serve God. And whatever is in my way, God going to move it. And I'm going to, come on, get up and begin to walk in your room, in your living area. Wherever and say, I'm going to change. I know I'm going to change. I have some dirty ways, but I'm going to change. 
I have this type of spirit, but I'm going to change. Come on, it's a fear move. Hallelujah. And why I can say it like that? Because we're born in sin. Shaping iniquities. So I don't want to see nobody going to tell me that I don't have no spirit or spirits. Hallelujah. We were born in sin. And sin is, is, is when we go up at the laws. We go against the laws of God. So we go up against the morals of God. Things that separate us from Almighty God. So we have to come and reconcile by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mustard seed faith. Come on, we want to talk to some people tonight. So when you step out with salvation faith, then this is what we live with. Mustard seed faith. Amen. So faith is your ingredients to pray, to believe, to trust, to know that God is very able. I don't know. Sometimes you feel your heart is shaking, but God, I'm trusting you. I know you're going to show up for me. Speak the word. The scripture said that there was this man, hallelujah, he has such an authority. He said, look, I know how to send one to go and one to come. And when they should move, they could, they, I give them uh, the, the go ahead to move because authority, you're in command. Hallelujah. And he went to Jesus and he said to Jesus, there's a, a fellow, there's somebody that is so sick. But the authority I have, I cannot heal him. But with your authority, Jesus, I know you can heal. So Jesus, I've never seen a faith like this. Hallelujah to Jesus. So he didn't believe, uh, 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 he didn't trust his authority, but he trusts Jesus' authority. Hallelujah. Sometimes your authority will fail, and that is why we have to look to Christ. Amen? He never failed. Jesus, there's no failure in him. There's no failure in his DNA. There's no failure in his blood. We fail because we struggle with the sin nature. So we oftentimes fail. Praise the name of the Lord. I hope you're understanding tonight. Amen? Amen. So we look at the three different faith. Salvation faith. Mustard seed faith. And the next one. This one is very big. The gift of faith. So when you carry the gift of faith, this is a gift from God. Supernatural power and confidence in God to manifest himself. Praise the name of the Lord. There are scriptures there to back it up. Look, when you have the gift of faith, you speak the word. Listen, please. When you have the gift of faith, you know, waver. You know, toss. Two and four like the sea. Hallelujah. When you have the gift of faith, you don't operate in the mustard seed faith. Gift of faith, as you speak it, it happens. You go to your fridge and say, food come. Hmm? You hear me, church? Hallelujah to Jesus. You look at something and say, I command you to heal right now. Jesus went to Lazarus tomb, the gift of faith, and said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, come forth. The truth. Hallelujah to Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. There's another verse that says, uh, Jesus went into this city, this place. Is Gadarene or is one of these cities? And, and there was this demon man, demon possessed, legions inside of him. And when he ran and he bowed down before Christ, he says, he says Jesus of Nazareth, what you do? You come to torment us now? Hallelujah to Jesus. But when you realize your authority and the power, he said, cast us into the swine. Jesus with his authority and faith said, go. Is that one word, go? Immediately. They went into the, into the swine. And the, and the pig, the herd of pig ran off and drowned themselves into the water. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm saying that when you have the gift of faith, you just look at your child and speak the word over them and happen. You just look at situation and just speak to it and it does happen. That's a gift of faith. Hallelujah. But in order for us to reach the gift of faith, we have to exercise all the two above. We have to take on salvation faith and we have to move into our mustard seed faith and then it grows all the way into the gift of faith. 
So whatever you bring to God, it's going to happen. The gift of faith. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.